guys. So I was thinking about my fifth graders and how every year we make clay portraits with them. And this year, sadly, we won't be able to do that because we won't be able to use the kiln and we're not having graduation in the school. Um, so what I was thinking about was something I saw online and it was self portraits with sunglasses on saying that the future is bright. So what I like to do is draw a self portrait of ourselves wearing sunglasses and then inside the sunglasses, I want you to draw something that you see in your future. So fifth graders, that means your future, um, high school or, or the next couple of years ahead, what you're going to do in middle school um, and joining any teams or any clubs or meeting new friends, anything like that. Um, something about your future and what you want to prepare for. So I'm ready when you are. I got my sunglasses on and because the future is very bright for you guys. So I think I'm going to keep them on right now. Um, all right, enjoy, and I uh, hope you like this new room. It's my sister's room. It's my new uh, studio here. All right, <laughs> bye. Hey guys, so all you need is a piece of paper and a pencil. It is lunchtime here, as you can see. Got a little movie and some lunch. And what you're gonna do is take your paper and you're gonna practice. We're gonna make the face first, making a circle with your arm and your wrist and your pencil. And then when you feel comfortable enough, draw a circle on the paper, just like that. Not too hard with the pencil, nice and light. Then you're gonna come down and make lines coming out for the neck on the left and right. As you can see, I made um, two lines on the side there. They shouldn't look like J's. They should look kind of like long, stretchy, curvy lines. And then they're gonna go out and down. Out and down on one side and out and down on the other side. Make it nice and big, not teeny tiny. And I'm really using my pencil lightly right now. I can come down more for the jaw, so I'm going to do that. I didn't like how little my face was, so I'm going to do some ske sketch down there. Make it a little bit bigger and go over a little bit more. Okay, you smell anything? Let's talk about some noses, shall we? All right, here are some noses I do not want to see because I know you're an artist and you definitely went over noses before. And I know my kindergarten knows how to make noses. We talk about, we're not scarecrows. We don't need a triangle nose, nope. And this nose, or is it a cute angle? I don't know, I'm not sure. But you know what, if that's, what you want to do, it's okay. It's half, half and half, I'd say. So I let it go. Um, here are some noses that look a little more three-dimensional. First, we're going to make the nose that looks like my niece's nose, like a little tiny, teeny no-nose, because some of us have little tiny noses. One letter C on one side, or a curvy line on another side, and a shape like a bird, down, up, and back. There you go. The next one, we're going to make more of like a longer nose, so two straight lines coming down, one letter C on one side, another letter C, connect it with another letter C, so three C's, connect those, there's your nose. And here's another nose, letter C, speaking of letter C, and here's our letter C nose, kind of like a funky looking nose, a little like kind of J shaped on either side and a couple lines coming down, and uh, there you go, another nose, ta-da! Don't forget to check out the resources on noses I posted. I'll also have a resource for sunglasses, but these could help you in deciding what kind of nose you want to draw. Okay guys, um, what I did here and what we're going to do is we're going to make a map on our face. So first we're going to make like a line coming down for our map, and this is where we're gonna rest our nose, our eyes, our mouth on. One line coming down, right, and one line going across, right in the middle of the face, right in the middle of the circle or oval you made. Because the ears are really gonna line up on either side of this horizontal or side to side line, back and forth. 
let's see. Right there would be one eye. Right here would be another eye. So your eyes would go there and there. And then a little ways down would be where your nose is, right here. And you can make some guidelines down here too. A little guide where your nose would be, and a little guide where your mouth would be, more a little further away from your nose. And you're using your pencil really lightly so you can erase any lines that you've made. And here's your map right there, guys. And there's my nose. Let's talk about mouths. Now, just a U mouth, I don't think I want to see that. Uh -uh. Let's make more of a 3D kind of looking mouth. And I know my kindergarten can do this too because they've done this on their self portraits. We're just going to lightly kind of sketch a long letter M for the top lip here. And mouths might be your thing, they're certainly not mine. But there you go, that's my top lip. I struggle with mouths too. I come down for a curvy line on the bottom and go across. Or I make sketch lines because they're easy to erase. I don't dig so hard with my pencil. See, I might not like this mouth. I might want to fix it a little bit, but it's an easy way of making a mouth. I'll post a mouth also. All right, here's my nose and my mouth. Let's talk about the hair and the ears. All right, my ears are gonna be on either side of that faint line I made going across the face. I just go up and come down like a curve and go across right at that line, follow that line up and down and curve. There you go. Okay, this is a pre-ears picture. But we want our sunglasses to land on that horizontal line going across where we would put our eyes and where we lined up our ears. Um, my hair, I put up in a bun and just kind of drew some lines kind of going up and then a little circle shape for the bun. I'll post some hair so you can see um, what you might like want to do. So there you go. And let's get started with the sunglasses. Here are some resources I posted on sunglasses. I'd like you to pick a pair that speaks to you and we are going to draw them right where our eyes would be on that horizontal line. And there you go. There are your snazzy sunglasses. I picked out a few that kind of look like the ones I wear. And inside those sunglasses, I would love for you to draw or write Things you want and see in your bright future, right in the lenses. You could sketch them first and then we're going to color them in second. Let's talk details. Let's draw our shirt, maybe a necklace or earrings. What are you wearing that day? What is in your wardrobe? Sharpie magic. Doesn't everything look better with dark marker outlining your sketch lines? I think it does. Use a black marker or Sharpie to make the drawing pop out. And there you have it, friends. A beautiful drawing by me, one and only. Awesome lady right there. And here with my sunglasses on. I think I'm so cool. Here you go. I can't wait to see what yours look like. Best of luck. Bye, guys.